Hello everybody. We're going to talk about a cost equation in this example. A cost equation is an equation that's going to describe for us in economics how much it costs for us to sell, to produce X number of items if we are a business. So, uh, in this case the total cost equation is given by C of X up here in the top corner, you can see it. Uh, C of X equals V times X plus F. Well, we'll have to describe what those terms mean. F is a fixed cost. Fixed costs include things like overhead to operate a business, uh, pay, taxes, rent, all that kind of good stuff. V is a variable cost per unit. Now, it costs a little bit more to produce more units if we have to hire more workers, if we have to do some other things to uh, ensure that we are producing that X number of units. So, we call that a variable cost. And we write our equation as the cost is equal to the variable cost per unit times the number of units plus the fixed cost. So, to go through this example over here, we're going to start by saying that our variable formula here, we're going to find by using a change in y values, which is the change in cost, for the change in the number of units that we make. So right here we can see that there's actually a uh, list right here. We're saying that, all right, if it costs us 20 units, if 20 units cost us $2,500 to produce, and 50 units cost us $3,400 to produce, then we're going to first start by determining that variable cost. And this is how we're going to do it. Uh, we can write a little table right here. X, Y, forgive my uh, handwriting, be a little, uh, a little askew right here. I'm going to try and straighten this out. We're saying that, okay, if, it if we make 20 units, Y, which is our cost in this case, is going to be 2,500. I'll just express it as 2,500 without any uh, adornment of a uh, dollar sign or anything like that. And if it costs, if we make 50 units, it's going to cost us 3,400 to produce. So to get our variable cost, what we're going to do is we're going to take the difference in these Y values, that we call that delta Y, which just means take the second y value and subtract from it the first y value. So we do that right here. We take 3400 and subtract from that 2500. And in the denominator of our fraction, we're going to take the change in the x values. In this case, delta x means the change in the number of units produced. So our change in x is going to be x 2 minus x1, right there. So we're going to subtract 50 minus 20. So let's go ahead and figure that out. V, if we take 3400 minus 2500, gives us 900. 50 minus 20 gives us 30. Uh, if we carry out the division right here, of course the tens they divide out. Uh, 90 divided by 3, that is 30. So our change, our variable cost right here, is $30 for each new unit produced. And so we're going to say V is equal to 30. So our cost equation is given by the formula uh, where we have C of X equals V of X plus F. Well, we don't know what that fixed cost is. And in order to do that, we have to use the point-slope form of the equation of a line. So this is where that one comes into play. Remember that the uh, formula goes like this. If we take the variable y minus our cost at the first y point, uh, we take the slope. And in this case, the slope is the variable cost times x minus the x value at that first point. Well, in our first point right there, we had x equals 20 and y equals 2,500, so we're going to substitute those numbers in. y minus 2,500 is equal to v, which we found to be 30, times x minus x1, which we found to be 20. So we go ahead and carry out our algebra right here, y minus 2,500 
distribute the 30 to both terms in the parentheses, 30 times x minus 30 times 20 would be 600. So we add 2,500, add 2,500 to both sides, and we get y is equal to 30x plus, let's see, 2,500 minus 600 would be 1,900. Okay, so our cost equation, c of x, is equal to 30x plus 1900 and our fixed costs then based on this formula F has to be 1900. You see how we just matched the variable to the number. Okay, so if we wanted to sketch this graph, how would we sketch this graph? Well we have to be a little bit uh, careful in how we choose our units along the x and y axis. Uh, we say that every time we change 30 we uh, every time we change x units, we add 30. So uh, for every one we get 30, but that's going to be a little bit small. We can't really go by ones down here. We're never going to get uh, a good look at this cost equation. 30x is a very steep slope. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to adjust these units down here. And we'll go by 10. So this is 10, 20, 30, etc. along the line here. Here's 50, here's 60, here's 70, and so on. Well, on the vertical axis, well, we're going to have to choose our numbers again pretty carefully because now uh, every time we increase some amount, we're going to have to be sure to uh, account for that if we're graphing such large numbers. And remember that we, if we let x equal 0, we're going to find that y, our cost, is equal to 1900. So that has to be on our graph. And if we let x equal 20, right here, we should have 2500. If x equals 50, we should be able to find 3400 on this graph. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go by, let's see, if I go, uh, if I go by 500s, here's 1000. Here's 2,000. Here's 3,000. And of course, up here is 4,000. So plotting this one is actually pretty easy. We've already got the points. We say that when x equals 20 units, we produce 2,500. So here's that point right there, 20, 2,500. When x equals 50, we have 3,400. So I'm going to go up here about, oh, just slightly south of uh, 3,500 right here. And then, uh, of course, at 0, I'm finding 1,900. So basically, if I were to plot my line, that's what the function would look like for c of x. That's what we wanted, and so we're done.